In the previous episode, we wrapped up our lives back in Norway, repaired and launched Vapiti, and set out on our first sail of this grand adventure to the beautiful island Aruba. So in this episode, uh, you'll join us in Aruba and we cross the Caribbean Sea, which is our longest sail uh, ever in a sailboat. We stop in Port Antonio, Jamaica, and then we continue from Port Antonio and we uh, go along the Cuban coast all the way up to Sinfuegos, which is on the southern part of the Cuba island. Enjoy! First night sail. After checking out with the officials in the last swim in Aruban waters, we hoisted the sails and started the autopilot for our three day passage. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song. Fortunately, it was not a very powerful squall without any rain or thunder, and we got away with gusts in the mid 30s and a new speed record for Wapiti. Good morning. We have been sailing for almost three days now. 
now. And finally we have Land Ahoy. You can barely spot it in the clouds. So looking forward to exploring Jamaica. So what are we doing here? We're trying out the Janet Never done it before. Let's do it, we're going to go to Kai. After completing our check-in to Jamaica, we met up with our friends anchored just outside the marina and celebrated our first ocean crossing on Wapiti. After three days sitting still, we took the opportunity to go for a run to explore this beautiful and green country. But being so green also means a lot of rain. But it's not really a problem when you can hang out with friends at the marina bar. We had some boat stuff to fix and filling cooking gas was one of them. This had been a huge problem in the ABC Islands where no one had wanted to touch our tanks because we had the wrong valves. In Jamaica we were lucky enough to find a guy who filled them in his backyard. Safety was not a top priority but we were happy to have our tanks filled. To see more of the area around Port Antonio we got together with the other young sailors and got a van for a day of exploring. It was a beautiful drive in green surroundings wherever we went. And we visited the world famous Blue Lagoon, as well as the Reach waterfalls, where we spent hours playing around. Coming straight from the rich and wealthy ABC islands, the simple life in Jamaica was a strong contrast. As our plan only allowed for a few days in Jamaica, we did not feel we had the time to fully understand the Jamaican culture. Most Jamaicans don't like to be on camera, which is why we don't have any footage of the town of Port Antonio. The streets there were crowded with people hanging out, playing reggae music, eating jerk chicken and of course smoking a lot of weed. The Jamaicans were welcoming, happy and helpful, but there is a lot of poverty. Our impression is that many are unemployed and that they have a hard time earning a living. They do however celebrate Christmas and we got to take part in their Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Put your hands together ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's now Christmas in Port Antonio Town Square. The For the upcoming sail to Cuba, we had the pleasure of having new crew members on board Wapiti, Aussie Brad and Canadian Bryce. We met them in Curaçao, Aruba and Jamaica and have spent some good times together. Yeah crew! Yeah crew! Go Wapiti! 
It was great fun having friends on board with Petey and also great to have crew on our sail to Cuba. Brad is also a sailor and has his own boat and is an expert fisher and diver. He taught us a lot about fishing and we quickly reeled in with Petey's first wahoo and made fresh sushi. After a day of excellent progress towards Cuba, the wind pretty much died. This made it a slow but extremely pleasant sail, with plenty of energy to fish, cook, play and chat. This is their first big sailing As we sailed along the Cuban coast, we did an illegal stop at Les Jardines de la Reina for a swim and to fly the drone this one time before the Cuban authorities would confiscate it. We didn't have a spear gun, so we made one of a washing pole, some rubber and a knife. It worked, but not very successfully. Brad did find us a beautiful conch, but said we had to eat it if we were to keep the shell. And so we did. How's it going, man? You want me to eat you? No, I want you to eat me. The Jardins de la Reine are a chain of beautiful uninhabited islands, but they are rumored to have a lot of mosquitoes and crocodiles. And since we were also there illegally, we continued our sail towards San Fuegos. We were only a night sail away from the entrance to the harbor and wanted to arrive in daylight. So we had time to do some last fishing along the reefs. Unfortunately, we only caught some barracudas we didn't want to eat, so it was catch and release. We're gonna get you back in the water. Oh, an oh, oh poor thing! Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Can I kiss him? No. Get some. Give him water. Come give him a kiss. Get him in the water. Give me a kiss right now and then I will. Get some better. Wait, come on, Elena. Mm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kissing, that's filthy mouth. Anymore. That smells like shit. <laughs> Wait, come and grab it again. <laughs> So you want to give him a kiss? Somebody give him a kiss. <laughs> Catch, kiss, lick, tongue, and release. It's a happy guy. Yeah. Fire. In the next episode of Sailing Wapiti, we arrive in San Fuegos, end up in the mangroves, and celebrate Christmas in Cuba. Feliz Navidad! Navidad? <laughs> Feliz Navidad!
So, our plan. We uh, began our trip in uh, November, which is the month where the hurricane season is over in the Caribbean Sea. And uh, we are going to New Zealand, or uh, Australia, but at least the Pacific. And we need to be there by November, uh, after one year, because that's when the cyclone season starts in the Pacific. So we have one year to get from the ABC Islands, and we have to get uh, across the Caribbean, or to the western part of the Caribbean Sea, get to the Panama Canal, and then uh, further on into the Pacific. For us, the boat is uh, new, and we're not very experienced sailors, so we want to do a shakedown, or uh, just a test of the boat, before we head into the Pacific. So uh, we will do a longer sail than most people do, uh, in a shorter amount of time, and we'll head from Aruba, up to Jamaica and up to Cuba and then we'll uh, head south on the west side of the Caribbean so we'll go from Cuba to uh, Cayman Cayman to Providencia and then Providencia to uh, to Panama and then cross the, can the Panama Canal in March beginning of March <laughs> 